Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 25, 2021 and I'm going to be using Studio Calico's Wild and Free Documenter Kit. This kit released in August and it's beautiful and I'm going to just go through the cards, try to figure out what I'm going to use for my spread this week. I love the Sun title card, it is gorgeous. I even used it in my traveler's notebook this week because it is such a pretty pattern. I think I'm gonna like stick to that for my title card. And I'm literally building my three by fours off my title card. Now I've shared this tip with you before where I color in my alpha stickers with my Posca pens. I like doing this because sometimes the alphas that come in the kits don't match my spread, so I'm okay with coloring them in. And this time around, I'm using my black Posca. And these alphas are actually much easier to color in just because they're made out of paper, like, and it's not glossy, basically. So I'm gonna use the alphas to add week, and I counted where I wanted basically my week to like be. I wanted it in the center, so I made sure to add it in the center, in between the rays, and then I want to add 25. Now for 25, I'm using my Mega Date Stamp, and you guys know how much I struggle with this thing. I'm determined to use it, and I'm just gonna stamp out 25. I did use washi tape to cover the rest of that Mega Stamp, and I still didn't do it right. I had to grab my pen and fill out 25, which is okay but I am determined to get this right at some point. Now, I did create collages. This first collage of three photos, I'm just kind of talking about, I started a project, I wanted to change the flooring in one of the rooms and to create a library in that room. So we removed the carpet, added some wooden floors, and I bought Ikea bookcases and put them together. And I love this room now, so I added my journaling in the fourth spot. And what I decided to do is to just kind of create my little own embellishment. The kit came with these diamonds. So I'm gonna trim off the bottom portion to fit above my journaling. And I stamped today is the day. Everything I'm using on my spread today is from that same kit. And I always say this, make the kit your own, you know, kind of try to think outside the box. You get these kits every month. So it's fun to kind of play around with it and figure out how to use it instead of going through our own stash. Now I decided to move around some of the photos and some of the cards. I'm trying to match everything to that title card. I love that brownish, that dark brown three by four card, but I still love the cactus and I know it makes no sense with my photos, but I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna use it because I know I'll never use a cactus card, even if I wanted to. <laughs> so I just went with it. I added some word stickers from the kit and a little blue star just to bring in some of the blue to the right side of my spread. And now I'm gonna work on this three by four card. Now what I thought I would do was stamp Born to be Unique right in the center and then add stars, kind of do like a tone on tone, add the stars in the center of the circles. I don't think I really, really liked the stamping. Uh, you couldn't really tell in only if you were close, up close and personal kind of thing, but it's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, I'm moving on to this photo. I thought I would trim it down, trim down my journaling and add it to this three by four card. It's a great way to use my cards. I was gonna just document the photo in journaling anyways, so might as well back it up with a card. And the card said weekend adventure and I'm documenting my kids and I shopping and doing our thing on the weekend. So I'm going for it. Now the journaling was not gonna fit right above my photo. So I'm gonna end up trimming it down just like into strips and adding it instead. And that's okay, it turned out perfect. And I believe I'll also grab some of those stars from the kit to add a few stars right above my photo and journaling. Well, I guess I do that later. But anyways, I'm also documenting Father's Day. I don't wanna add much to this photo. It's a really pretty photo of my dad, my sister and I. So I just literally used a word sticker, added all roads lead home. And this is where I grabbed the star chipboards, added a few, again, to bring in some blue to the right side of my spread. And I'm gonna finish up my layout by adding a word sticker to this photo of me shopping for books. 
and then I call my layout done. Don't forget, I will be adding all the links down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!